Right, we start off with our bead uh, already on the hook and we're just going to attach the thread in front and tie in the eyes. And the eyes are just some 25 pound mono that's been melted on the ends. And we just want to tie that right there behind the eye of the hook. So what you end up with there is the eyes just right in front of the bead behind the eye of the hook. And then we're going to work our thread across and work down towards the bend. And then we're going to grab our Wooly Bugger Marabou. This is a light olive color. The whole point of this pattern is to be a much lighter lime colored uh, variation on a, the damsel. And this Wooly Bugger Marabou is perfect for these tails. You just strip off a bunch. We're going to pinch this off so you don't need to measure it out just yet. But I will work my way back up towards the eye of the hook there. Then clip off the excess, clean that up. And then I'm just going to work my way back a little bit past the bend of the hook there. Now notice my uh, tail's way longer than you would want it to be. What, what I want is about that length. And so the nice thing about this marabou, you can just take your fingers, fingernails and tear it off. As long as you've tied it in, it'll tear off nice. And it's not all nice and uh, cut like a pair of scissors would do. So for the ribbing, we're going to use some crystal flash. So I'll just tie that in. And then for the body, we're going to use our handy thread splitter. And what the thread splitter will do, and one of the reasons why we use uh, UTC on this, is that it's a flatter thread. And so I want to twist it counterclockwise. So the thread's now twisting in that direction. And you can kind of see those uh, the twists come out of that as you, as you spin it. And once I've got that, I'll take my thread splitter, and you rub that there, and then you poke the needle up through, and it will split that thread nice. And once I've got that split, I'll hold my finger. Okay, now I'm going to grab my dubbing. This is Arizona Synthetic Dubbing, and it's a, a shorter fiber dubbing. And it works great because you can just slide it right into here uh, with your little dubbing loop. Okay, now we've got our dubbing rope, and we're, now we're just going to twist the bobbin, and that will trap all the dubbing fibers. And the reason you do this, especially with the synthetic dubbing, is it doesn't cling well to the thread with the uh, traditional twisting method. So once you've trapped those within the, the fibers, or the fibers within that loop, they'll stay there. And we're going to barber pull this up. So you want to leave a little space. That's what we're going to do with our ribbing. And I'm just going to finish that right behind the bead. And what I like to do is trim this a little first. That way when we start to rivet, it's not going to trap any of those fibers down as much. And then you just kind of work that in and wiggle it around. And we're just going to come up and create a ribbed body. And finish it off right behind the bead. And then I'll work my way in front of the bead right behind the eye. And I'm going to, so I grab some of my touch dub dubbing wax a little bit more of the same light peacock you don't need a ton we're just going to put a little bit around enough enough for a couple of wraps and you notice that when I dub that on it's not near as buggy but in this case I'm just going to go around the the head here to create a head and then when I get to the right before the eye I want to build up a pronounced head with the thread here and that's why I like this bright thread and then we'll, we'll go ahead and whip finish use my quick clip it's actually part of my whip finisher and then I like to just get my velcro and tease out the fibers a little bit and there's the prepubescent damsel. This is this is a great pattern. Uh, I've seen it 
really, really effective in the fall. Um, maybe the first little batch of damsels that are born. But we've seen fish go for these ones over the, the full grown adults. Uh, they're probably nosing around in the weeds or wherever they're getting these. But the fish do focus on the lighter colored, smaller, slimmer damsels. It's a great pattern to have in the box. Mm -hmm.